This is Zulala, and today I'm going to show you how I make my tails. Specifically, how I made this wolf tail. Isn't it pretty? I'm pretty thrilled with it. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. This tail is made out of yarn. I used about five skeins of yarn for this tail. Pro tip, don't use Red Heart brand yarn. It's not soft and it breaks too easily. First, you want to cut out a guide string. Then, from each skein of yarn, you will want to pull the ends out. Now put your ends together and match them up to your guide string. Wrap it once. Wrap it twice. Then slide your scissors between the loops and cut. Now all the strings are free. As you can see, I have six ends. You can have more strings if you like. Now we are going to put a knot in the middle of the string. Start off by making a loop. Put your index finger and thumb through the loop. Then take the hand holding the string and twist. With your index finger and thumb, grab the string from the other side and pull it through. Now you have a knot. Tighten the knot and guide it to the middle of the string. And there you have it. For this step, you will need a notebook or some sort of hard surface that you don't mind getting scratched. You will also need a dog brush, as well as your yarn. Go ahead and brush the yarn out until it's nice and fluffy. Do this to both sides. Okay, now that you've brushed your fluffs out, you will need to straighten them. Grab your favorite hot iron and simply drag it across the fluffs. Do this to both sides. You don't have to do each fluff individually. You can grab a handful and do several at a time. Once you've finished straightening the fluffs, then take your dog brush and brush through the fluffs once more. Look how pretty and shiny they are! Repeat this process until you have about, oh, I don't know, a million fluffs. Oh, I also like to separate the fluffs by color. <laughs> All right, it's time for the next step. Well, hello again. For this step, you will need a skein of yarn and some scissors. Take the yarn and measure it out so that it's a little bit longer than what you would want your tail to be. Oh, and it's okay to use Red Heart brand yarn for this step. Also, it doesn't matter what color you use either, because this yarn is going to be the base of your tail and it's just going to get covered up anyway. Well, hello again again. Okay, take your new guide string and lie it down parallel to your body.
Now grab your skein of yarn. My skein of yarn was really messed up. So I had to cut it up into little tiny yarn balls instead. But make sure you use the entire skein of yarn for this. All right, anyway, take the end of your yarn and place it between your big toe and the toe next to it. But please make sure you wash your feet before you do this. All right, take the string and line it up with your guide string. Once you have it measured out, place the string between your thumb and your pointer finger. Now that the string is secure, you can begin to wrap the string around your thumb and toe. This is seriously a good workout. Feel the burn! Keep wrapping until you have used up all your yarn.